Hello guys, welcome to Gadget Pool. It's becoming increasingly harder to figure out what makes a budget phone cheap. Smartphone manufacturers are quick to introduce high-end flagship features in affordable phones that not only perform well but look great too. Take Nokia 6.1 for example. It has excellent build quality, good looks, solid performance, and a capable camera, all for under $300. The Nokia 6.1 is light on extra features, but it nails the fundamentals and that's what you want in budget phone. So in this video we're going to take a look at the Nokia 6.1. With flagship smartphone manufacturers placing a high emphasis on design, budget phone makers are taking notes. This year it's all about glass. Budget phones from Motorola and OnePlus now sport glass for no other reasons than aesthetics. HMD Global. The company that licenses the Nokia brand name is bucking the trend by sticking with metal. The metal pack is cool to the touch. At the top center is a single camera utilizing glass from Zeiss. It sits in an elongated oval module with a flash at the bottom. Right below it is a circular recessed fingerprint scanner that's easy to access. The camera module sticks out ever so slightly but it's hardly noticeable and it doesn't impact using the phone when it's lying flat on a table. On the right side of the phone, you'll find the volume rocker and power button. Both are easy to access, and they offer a satisfying click when tapped. There's a USB Type-C charging port on the bottom, next to a single bottom firing speaker. There's still a headphone jack at the top of the phone if you haven't gone wireless yet. The front of the Nokia 6.1 is dominated by its 5.5 inch LCD display with a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution. The screen is just bright enough to mostly see outdoors, but colors don't pop or feel vibrant. We didn't have any major qualms about it, and we think most people will be satisfied with the screen, especially considering its price. We did experience a bug during our testing, where an accessibility feature automatically turned on causing the screen's color to look muted. It was an easy fix, but it's worth noting. Constructed from Gorilla Glass 3, the display slopes ever so slightly around the edges to meet the chassis. It's a well thought out addition, as it doesn't make the phone's edges sharp. If you're hoping for a bezel-free smartphone, however, you'll be disappointed. While the Nokia 6.1 does shave down some of the bezels from last year's Nokia 6, it still packs chunky top and bottom bezels, and has a more traditional 16.9 aspect ratio. Does it impact everyday use? Not at all. The front just doesn't look as contemporary as we would have liked. Our biggest qualms about the design is the placement of the mono speakers. It's on the bottom edge, so it's easy to plug when holding the phone in landscape mode. It does get loud but the sound quality isn't going to blow anyone away. We'd have much preferred using that chunky bottom bezel for a front-facing speaker. There are two color options available in the US, black and white. There's also an attractive two-tone design with anodized copper and iron accent lines around the display, buttons, camera lens, and fingerprint sensor. It looks elegant and attractive especially with the accents. Better yet, the all-metal unibody makes the Nokia 6.1 far more durable than its class-laden competition. The added heft helps too, by making the phone feels like it's worth way more than $270. The Nokia 6.1 blows us away with a beautiful and durable build, solid performance, and a capable camera in good lighting. Android One makes it even better with the promise of versions and security updates. So is there a better alternative? Maybe. It depends on your budget. If you're looking for a phone under $300, we recommend the Nokia. Should you buy it? Yes. The Nokia 6.1 is not perfect, but it's the best budget phone under $300 we've seen to date. But what do you guys think? Leave us your opinion in the comment section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video and also subscribe for more info and updates. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.